Let my supplication come before thee, deliver me according to thy word. Which executeth judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry, the Lord looseth the prisoners. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivereth from death. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me, because he delighted in me. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death, and to keep them alive in famine. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Forasmuch then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, wilt not thou deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living? The Lord God is my rock, and my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my strength, and whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him, I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations, and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. Blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, O Lord, and teachest him out of the law that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity, until the pit be digged for the wicked. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. The righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, but transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness. A hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. For he hath looked down from the height of his sanctuary, from heaven did the Lord behold the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to loose those that are appointed to death. He sent his word, and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. Deliver me from the oppression of man, so will I keep thy precepts. The words of the wicked are to lie in wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. He that trusteth in his own heart is a fool, but whoso walketh wisely, he shall be delivered. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder, and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Is not this the fast that I have chosen, to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free? and that ye break every yoke? And he said, The Lord is my rock, and my fortress, and my deliverer, the God of my rock. In him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my Savior. Thou savest me from violence. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to deliver thee. He delivereth and rescueth, and he worketh signs and wonders in heaven and in earth, who hath delivered Daniel from the power of the lions. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. And forgive us our sins, for we also forgive every one that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. But I will deliver thee in that day, saith the Lord, and thou shalt not be given into the hand of the men of whom thou art afraid. For I will surely deliver thee, and thou shalt not fall by the sword. But thy life shall be for a prey unto thee, because thou hast put thy trust in me, saith the Lord. 
But after they had rest, they did evil again before thee. Therefore leftest thou them in the hand of their enemies, so that they had dominion over them. Yet when they returned and cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven, and many times didst thou deliver them according to thy mercies. He will deliver his soul from going into the pit, and his life shall see the light. He delivereth the poor in his affliction, and openeth their ears in oppression. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan hath bound low these eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. But rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive the forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death, who delivered us from so great a death, and doth deliver, in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. Giving thanks unto the Father, which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith. And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Grace be to you, and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world, according to the will of God and our Father. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage.